When the electronic control board senses the compressor needs to operate, it sends voltage to the compressor and fans to begin the cooling cycle. The control board receives input from temperature sensors to monitor the temperatures inside the refrigerator and freezer sections. With this information, the electronic control board controls the defrost cycle. If the control board is defective, replace it using the steps in this video. Before you begin, wear work gloves to protect your hands. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Remove the screw that secures the control box to the ceiling. Pull the control box down and unplug the wire harness. Pry out the two locking tabs and release the electronic control board housing. Turn the housing over to access the electronic control board. Pry out the small locking tab and release the electronic control board from the housing. Disconnect the wires from the old electronic control board and remove it. Connect the wires to the new electronic control board. Flip the board over and snap it into the housing. Position the electronic control board housing in the control box and snap it into place. Plug in the control box wire harness. Line up the drain tube spout at the back of the control box with the drain hole in the upper back wall and snap the control box in place. Reinstall the screw that secures the control box. Plug in the refrigerator to restore power.